Section 2.12, Compound Shapes and Solids. So let's take a look at what happens when you put multiple shapes together. Not the nice, neat shapes we've been dealing with so far. This is a compound, a two or more parts put together. First question here, we've got this shape. This is the entrance way to an office building. We've got some dimensions. Question ask, find the total area of the entrance. When we look at this, we're going to break it down into two parts. First part is going to be a rectangle, and the other part is going to be this half circle. So starting first with our rectangle, area of our rectangle is length times width. I quickly redraw it. I've got a rectangle that looks like that. It's 15 meters along that side. It's 10 meters on that side. Area equals 15 meters times 10 meters. Multiply those two together. 10 times 15 gives me 150. Put a box around that. We are coming back for that number a little bit later. Let's move on to that half circle. When it comes to finding the surface area of that half circle, we're going to use the whole circle, and then we're going to take that area and divide it by two. That gives us the half circle. Now, the place to find this dimension, this diameter, is if we look at our box, the diameter is the same as the total height of the box, which is 10 meters. Diameter equals 10 meters. Looking back on it, if the diameter is 10 meters, then my radius is going to be half of that. Radius is five meters. Let's start looking at our formula for area of a circle. Area equals pi r squared. Put all the information we've got into that. Pi is 3.14. My radius is five meters. Square that. Let's start with that squared first. Always do your exponents first before you do your multiplying. Area equals 3.14 times five times five is five. Multiply those two together. 3.14 times 25 gives me 78.5 square meters. Remember that is the full circle. So what I need to find that half circle is I'm going to take that and divide it by two. The area of that half circle is 39.25 square meters. Okay, and our last step here is to go through and find out what is my total area. To do that, we're just going to take those two areas we calculated earlier, 150 meters and the 39.25, add them together, and that will give us our total area. Our total surface area is 189.25 square meters. Put a box around it, and that question is finished. Okay, let's take a look at part B of this question, because there's always a part B. If the area is to be tiled and the tiles cost $18.95 a square meter, what is the total cost of the tiling? So the real question is, what is the total cost of the tiling? The information we've got, $18.95 a square meter. We know from the previous part of our question that the surface area of that entranceway is 189.25 square meters. And if each square meter costs $18.95, if we multiply those two pieces together, we end up with our total cost. So if we take 189.25 meters squared, I'm going to times it by $18.95. Total cost equals $3,586.29.